almost say Wizards of Waverly Place. What the heck? Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Brianna Talk. Whoa. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Comic Con is coming up. Comic Con is upon us. Mm -hmm. We're so close. I'm gonna be doing a group cosplay with my friends and my husband. It's gonna be great. Why do I almost say Wizards of Waverly Place? No, it's gonna be Fantastic Beasts, the second one. Crime, crimes of Grindelwald? Crimes of Grindelwald. And I'm gonna be Nagini. So we're gonna be showing you that look today. So, first things first. Primer, we're gonna use our Hangover um, RX Too Faced Primer. Cause you do some moisturizing. There we go. Put that all over. And I'll put a picture over here somewhere. Um, but Nagini has really clear, glassy skin. So we're gonna be doing the glassy, really moisturized, dewy look. Um, but not too dewy, because <laughs> San Diego sun, man. It's gotta last all day. And then we'll put on, this is the Fenty Beauty um, eye primer, and I just use that for my smile lines, because we don't want them to show at all. Um, but that's basically what we're going to do that for. So yeah, I'm super excited for Comic Con. I think it's going to be fabulous. Um, this is the first year my husband got in. I've been inside one other year, and then I've been outside two other years dressing up. Super exciting. Now I'm going to go in with my Glam Glow. Um, it's the Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. You know, like a dot of that, and we're gonna put it on the high points of the face and the nose, wherever it's like the most shiny on her face. She has some like red with the eyebrows. And we're just gonna tap that in. We really have some specific, like, glassy points that we really wanna highlight. So I'm gonna be Nagini, that's what we're doing today. And then um, whoop, my husband is going to be Grindelwald. Uh, my sister is going to be, ooh, look at that highlight. Look at that glow, look at that. I love it. Um, my sister is going to be Lita Lestrange. And her boyfriend is going to be Dumbledore. So that's gonna be super exciting. We're doing a group cosplay one of the days. Look at that glow. We didn't ask for her, but here she is. We did ask for her. <laughs> Who am I getting? Now we're gonna go in with our foundation. So Nagini has kind of, she's really pale. Use, I'm gonna use my winter shade, which is Fenty Beauty in 280. Put a pump of that on the back of my hand. And we're gonna tap that all over my face, put a little bit of skin tune blur in between that because her skin is like fabulous. But yeah, so she's a maledicta, mel, mel, maledictus, maledictus, I think that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, so she is cursed, it's like a blood curse where she can turn into a snake and it's so interesting that she is like cursed in that form. Whoa, whoa, forever. Ah. Because in the movies I grew up with, obviously she's still a snake, and it's so interesting in this newer, newer movies to see her as a human. Ooh, okay. That's a lot. That's okay. We're gonna blend this out. Um, I'm gonna take my foundation brush. I'm gonna spray my Ole Energizing Mist on it just to wet this a little bit so it blends easier. And we're just gonna go in. Yeah, the, I think the new movies are great. I grew up, so my parents were, um, they were kind of strict on movies. So I was only able to see the first two movies of Harry Potter. Only the first two until I was like mm, 10, I wanna say. Three through seven, I wasn't able to see until it was like 13. 
So that was really confusing, but he made us read the books before we watched any of the others. So I watched the first two movies. Whoa. Mm. I watched the first two movies and then I read all the books and then I was able to watch the rest of the movies. He was a, a purist in that way that he wanted us to have an appreciation for the characters and everything like that, like not just watch a movie. All right, so we blended out the foundation. Oh, it's hot in here, okay. Cool, now we're gonna go in. Whoa. You could do this before or after. Um, it's just really a preference. But I'm gonna take my NYX um, Conceal Correct Contour Palette. Take a little brush. And we're gonna Conceal. So right under my eyes, I'm taking a, the yellow and the peach mixed to cover the dark circles. Cause she's kind of got dark circles, but they're made with eyeshadow. So let's, let's cover the natural ones and go back in and make fake ones. Cause that's how makeup works. All right, so we're taking that under both of the eyes and I don't bring it all the way up anymore. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna tap it out later, you'll see. And then with the green, I'm gonna conceal my main red areas. I got some zits. Take the green and the peach, because the peach can cover if it's a dark, just like hyperpigmentation or scarring or whatever, but then the green will cover the red, because color theory. I don't really have to conceal much because this foundation is bomb. And then I'm gonna blend this out with my I haven't tried it with a sponge before. Let's try it. Just tapping that in. Ooh. I think I like it. Hmm. All right, so we're just tapping that in. And then the sponge. I'm not even having that either. Either way, whatever your preference is, sponge, brush, I finished with the brush just because I started with it. Just buffing that out. Really light taps to get it to cover, but you don't want to like pick it up all the way, you know? You want to really blend it into the skin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the sponge. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with that. Ooh. Okay, cool. Base is done. Not done, but you know. We're well on our way. So let me look at the picture again. She's got very, a hint of a contour. It's not super like obvious or anything. I'm gonna take my, what is this? It's a Pro Fusion contour palette. Like some kind of department store brand, but I, I love, the colors are really nice in it. It's just nice, a different contours. I usually use it for eyeshadows. I'm gonna take the color, yeah, I'm gonna take the color nude. We're gonna go in with our bronzer brush, go into nude, and we're just gonna lightly dust that where we would for a contour. She has, barely has a thing going on. And I don't wanna overly like chisel her when she doesn't need to be. It's just slight darkness here. A little bit. I just dipped it in like once. So going on the other side, really lightly, and look at that highlight still bobbing. Keep going in with the bronzer. So yeah, that's basically all we need. Like barely chiseled. She doesn't really have anything on her forehead except for like right on the edges. So I'm gonna tap it in once into the nude color. And we're just gonna lightly tap it right along the hairline. Like we're not going in, just lightly on the hairline. Tap again, go on the other side. Tap twice into nude and then go right underneath the jawline to really define that. Yikes, we're gonna take our Insta Age Rewind in Honey and we're gonna go just one little Thing under because she doesn't have a lot I mean she just basically looks one color so it's not really like a whole highlight here accentuate here like it's super everything blends really seamlessly so we're, and this is like perfectly to cover my under eyes so 
gonna do that. We're gonna take our hair spun powder and we don't need much, but we're gonna tap that into the cover. This is the e.l.f. It doesn't say what kind it is. I think it's a foundation brush, but I use it for powders. Don't fool me. And then we're gonna sweep it under the under eye. Sweep it. I don't really need to highlight here, but I kind of want to conceal here. So let's just do a couple dabs. Got some zits to cover. And then, um, let that dry down, but I'm also gonna take my um, Fenty Beauty Concealer in 280, which is the same as my foundation shade, or like not the same, but complements it the best. It's a different formula. It doesn't dry down as fast. So we're going to cover any more of those zits if we need to. Because we need the face to be like completely flawless. I want to lighten this area a little bit more. So we're going to just take that. Whoop! Big sunrise. Yeah, make that brighter. I'm just having fun now. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Getting hot. Let that dry down a little bit. I need an actual fan. Ooh. I really love the Harry Potter movies. I'm glad they're bringing back, not bringing back, but continuing the story in a different way. Because not gonna lie, I always thought about what about in America? I always thought Europe was better, but Europe has Hogwarts and British accents. What does America have? I was a strange child, but I'm glad they're bringing it to America because I was wondering, I was like, what, what's in it? Or, or is America all muggles? No, we got wizards here too. Casting and the story I think is really good. I don't even know who my favorite character is. I talked about a lot of them. I used to be really into Hermione. She was great, but then I also really loved Ron's mom. The fact that she went against Bellatrix the Strange was beautiful. Bellatrix, Bellatrix, Bellas, Bellatrix, Bellatrix the Strange was also an awesome person to hate. So that was fun. Um, and Umbridge, she was worse than Voldemort. The worst. I think that's uh, dried down enough. So we're going to tap under here very lightly. I think we're gonna make it a little bit brighter. Not really highlight, but I just want to make it brighter with the 280 because that's gonna, like I said, it's a complimenting shade. So that one, the other concealer was to cover the dark circles, and this one's just gonna be for fun. Ooh, there we go. And that's gonna dry down. Hold on. Go blending right over here. Blend the forehead. Look how I instantly brighten that up. And I'm take whatever is extra like on my sponge and we're gonna just tap that over my nose. My forehead looks great right now. That's what happens when you stay in school, kids. Not a lot, that's really what happens. So now we're just gonna let this dry down and then get back to the rest of it. Now we're back and we're gonna be blending out my under eye. Lightly tapping into the right under eye, just so we get the color there. Perfect. Powder, ooh, brown brush. Brush, and we're gonna take a dab of airspin, but we're gonna use our Sephora um, skin, no, not skin to work, micro smooth, my bad. We're gonna take a swipe of that. It's a pressed powder. And then I'll take a, just a dab of airspun and be naturally neutral. Get out, okay. And then we're gonna brush that underneath, slightly brush it. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Micro smooth. Tap, tap of air spun, and then sweep it under. Looking really nice. And now we're just gonna take micro smooth for the rest of the face. And I'm just gonna buff that out everywhere else. So the face is basically set how it's gonna be. She doesn't really have blush or anything on, just that like very, very slight contour, which I already added. So now we're gonna fill in the brows a bit. They're pretty wispy, so I just need like a couple strokes. Look, precisely my brow pencil in 4.5. Um, but we're first gonna brush through it. I'm sorry if you can't see this, but. Ooh. 
because I don't want to define it that much. Just I have a couple blank spots in my brow, so we're just gonna fill those in a bit. Yeah, pretty wispy. Um, they're looking pretty tousled and normal. Um, actually, they're less defined than I normally do them. She's in the circus. She doesn't want time for her brow. I'm gonna use the Gimme Brow Plus because I want them to stay. And I didn't fill them in all the way because hers are a little bit shorter than mine. I just like covered it with concealer and I'll cover it with powder a little bit more. Um, probably on the day of I might use another way to like get them to stay down is probably liquid latex. Cover it with that like pre everything else. Um, and that should cover them completely, especially when you have darker eyebrows like mine. It's hard to hide them. And now we're gonna go to eyes. So we're gonna take the Adri no. I lied. We're gonna take the 280 Fenty Beauty Concealer again, and we're gonna swipe that on. Swipe it just like that. And then we're going to take our sponge. Ah, uh, other side. Perfect. For her eye look, um, I'm gonna be using the Moroccan Spice Palette by Fenty Beauty. Morphe M507 brush. We're gonna dip into Come and Get It. Just this lighter brown shade right here. And that's gonna be our crease color, but we're gonna keep it like really to the bottom of my crease. Tap that on, blend it out. For this look, we're gonna keep it keep it low. This is a really good precision for hooded eyes when you really want to get your crease color, but you want it to be like not blown out of proportion. You want it in a specific area. We're gonna take our Fenty Match Stick. It's gonna be in cocoa. Ironic, we're gonna be using the Harry Potter. Um, oh, I was gonna use all Harry Potter brushes. That's ah, okay. From now on, only Harry Potter brushes. I have this one, it's just a pointed top brush. It's a wand on the end, it's super cool. And we're just gonna take that on the edge of this matchstick. Just want a little bit of color, and we're gonna put that right underneath the crease, just kind of defining it more. It's gonna go a little bit on your lid, but more just defining that first color we put on. I took out all of the wand brushes so we know what we're working with. Her lid color is not really a lid color. It's more like all a dark liner. Anyway, we're gonna take, um, it's a fluffy angled brush. I remember whose wand this is, but they're, they're, we have all of them. Pretty sure this is the elder wand. Yeah, it's the elder wand. It's super cool. We're gonna go into Hennessy in that Moroccan Spice palette, and that's gonna go directly on the lids. So we're kind of doing a reverse eye because the darker color is going to be on the lid this time. And it's nice a nice contour color. You see that darkness happening? And I'm using the fluffy brush because I just want it to be diffused. I don't want it to be super concentrated. Now we're going to take our liner in its Avon Glimmer Sticks in brown chocolate. G22 waterproof eyeliner. It's not actually glimmer though. Hold on there. Oh my god, it broke. Ah! Put that right on the top lash line. Mm -hmm. Not from like 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm gonna be walking around. This face to stay. Not too much to ask. There we go. Eyeliner just gets there, and then we'll smudge it out with the brush in a second. And I'm gonna take this one. Guess who's wands in the comment below. They just buff out the eyeliner. So it's got a bit of a smoky, not too defined. Like this girl's messy in the nicest way possible. You guys see what I'm going for right there? Like super subtle. Like we use like five colors, but nobody can, nobody can tell it looks so flawless. This brush. It's got like a angled 
angled skinny brush. Yeah. For under the eye. I'm going to get it right under the eye. Not to meet here because it's supposed to be like pointy here. Buffed out. Wipe off a little bit of the Kumi Get It. But then go into Hennessy to define it and make it a bit darker. There we go. You can tell more in real life, but you can still see like the under like deadness that we got. Not cat eye, it's a snake eye. <sighs> a snake eye. Copyright me. Just smoke it out into just a triangle on the edges. I didn't add anything to this brush. I'm just literally trying to make it accentuate the outside. I like it going out into a snake eye effect. Almost done. We're so close. So close. I'm taking the Fanny Beauty Hustler Baby. And we're going to use a defining ooh, highlight. Tap into it. She got a lot of highlight for us to highlight, so right down the nose. All, like all of it. It doesn't it doesn't even matter. Just define it all. Even the nostrils, just highlight that man. We're into that glow. Look at that. Yes, that's what we want to see. We want it to be blinding but also subtle. And it's like a goldy tint. From the picture that I found. Yeah, that's what you want. And a little bit above the brows. Keep it low. That little brush we used earlier for the cocoa. I'll wipe it off. Dip into that and barely tap into the inner corner. He's a little inner corner highlight, but it's mostly natural, of course. But yeah, we're really gorgeous. gorgeous. We're gonna do the lips. Just about done, guys. I'm taking um, my NYX lip liner in Plum. Outline the lips. So hers are really small and cute. And mine are, I got big lips, but they're like contained into this little area. This is gonna be blended into black, so we don't need to go too hardcore. And the lighting in this movie is kind of hard to tell if it's black or just a really deep plum color, but I'm gonna be using black today. And I don't know, this is like defining like her last meal. I don't know what the red is, but I definitely saw ooh, red on the outside. My black lipstick in Uninvited by Fenty. The Define Cupid's Bone. Alright, we're gonna set this. Morphe Setting Spray. Put a little bit of mascara on, and then I will show you the final, final look. Hi guys, so this is the final look. We are Naginified. Do you love it? So I added on here, I don't know if ooh, you can see it like right there. I took just like, I think this came with one of my wigs. It's just one of these hair net type thingies. And I just placed it over this and then went over with my highlighter again over what I had before. And it created this like snaky effect. I didn't put a lot, but just a little bit for a subtle effect. For Comic-Con I'll put more. And also, so I only talked about it a little bit, but the, um, the wand brushes, super cool if you guys want to get these i'm going to put the link in the description box below um but right now they're only like six or seven dollars on amazon so snag some of these because they're super cool and super useful like i can i use these almost every day they're with all my other brushes so they're super cool and fluffy and good quality so yeah i'm gonna put that in the description box below for sure Harry Potter World at Universal Studios. It has a special place in my heart because that is where my husband proposed to me and I got my engagement wand completely on accident. Like this, this wand chose me. So yeah, Harry Potter is a really special place in my heart. Um, I love the, I heard about the new game that came out, Wizards Unite. If any of you guys have played it, let me know how it is in, in the comments below. Um, it seems interesting. I already played Pokemon Go, so 
I might be down. But yeah, this is the final look um, at Comic-Con. I'll post more pictures on my Instagram um, when I go to Comic-Con about the final looks. But yeah, this is it with curly hair. It'll, it'll be a little bit different with straight hair. But yeah, that's the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next video. We'll be having more Comic-Con talks. Bye!